Hi, Pat here from Letters to My Sister. Went to the post office this morning and for me a trip to the post office is incomplete without stopping at some of the nearby op shops. So I'm here to share my treasures. Firstly, a Gladstone bag, which I know I've already got my dad's one and I've got uh, Milshi's Gladstone bag, who is Milshi's grandmother in Polish and that's my sister-in-law's mother. Um, but you know, can you ever have too many? I keep my art supplies in them. And this one was in remarkably good condition, except this mark where there was a name uh, plate. But I think I'll design a sticker and put my own name plate. And I'll keep some art supplies in that. Um, okay, Lewis Carroll, a lovely big book, which has got some great images that I'll probably... It was very cheap. So, um... Yeah, that might end up in pieces but that's okay that's all good now I've only just discovered this Robert what is that it's a three-piece set oh don't break it Pat golly gosh Robert Gordon farmyard now it's made in China but Robert Gordon the company has been around since the mid 19th century I think it's it's Australian and they do still design here, but then send their stuff off to China to be made up. Um, it is nice quality, though. And this three-piece set, there's a teapot in there. And the creamer and the sugar bowl. And I love blue and white and I love chooks. But I might put it in our Etsy shop. I'll have to see how I go. Anyway, it's really sweet. I really liked it. Now, the salvos which are down in Rockingham, are, are moving. They're moving from their, what's that street called? I can't remember. Patterson Street. Patterson Street shop to somewhere around Dixon Road. And all their orange tagged items were $2, and this is a massive tablecloth. It's made of nice linen, never been used. So that might fit my table here. I know the colour's a little bit boring, but it's actually nice fabric. So there you go. Two bucks for that. That was good. Okay, pardon my messy table. This is my coffee dyeing table, which is why it's all yucky brown. Anyway, I found this big bunch of ceramic um, vegetables. They are made in Trinidad. There's one. I haven't been able to actually find this brand. And I can get that. There we go. Not even sure what that says. Mako, maybe. Can't find the brand on the internet, but ceramic veggies um, seem to be very popular. I mean, I love the feel. They're very tactile. And there was all these and all these. And because they're moving and they don't want to lift lots of stuff, the lovely lady gave them all to me for $10. Wow. How cute. Okay, now, um, this was, is a Duna cover, but the fabric is so pretty. And in our Letters to My Sister shop, we have so many ways of using up fabrics like these, whether it's in creative stitching kits and just all sorts. But I, I really like that, and it was quite inexpensive. Now, the lady in the shop wrapped some things in it for me. Here we, go. Here we go. Now these really aren't for me but they were just too good a bargain to give up. Oh pardon my mess out here. I just realised the camera's moving around. I wanted to hide that. <laughs> these are Japanese miniature. She said, golly, don't they go nice with that fabric? Look like they were meant to be together. Okay, it's so a full set of six and at a bargain price. Sorry about the camera moving around. I just got them that way. I'll definitely be putting these in my Etsy, in our Etsy shop. I just have to figure out. There we go. There's it's Japanese. So that usually dates it apparently. Um Probably around the 60s and 70s or shortly after the Second World War anyway. Um, because then we started buying from Hong Kong by the late 60s and then Taiwan and now everything's made in China. Um, 
also there there's a set of six of those and they're, they're really cute just looking at the paintings not so beautiful in there is it so not necessarily the best quality but i gotta look them up and see anyway i like them right now getting towards the end of my treasures this was a whole bag for there we go of vintage german and australian postcards tourist books maps the whole baggie for five dollars they're from the mid 70s so they are before the reunification of germany um they're just gorgeous i think you could do a lot with these in um your junk journal making and i won't pull them all out so lots of them are these concertina type little ones but there's also some that have separate cards and there's some full-size postcards in there and i'll be listing them in our etsy shop very soon i've been after some of these stamens for a while and um they make good little antennas on paper butterflies so anyway that's all that was a little book with some pretty papers in where there's always a use for pretty papers um, the Dragonology book, uh, my son had these, had a big one like this. This one I noticed has still got stickers that haven't been used. So that kind of looks like fun and it looks much. And another, I just bought one of these, oops. But I haven't tried it out. I really want to have a, more of a go at calligraphy and it's got some pens and nibs. And when Dale comes over in April, we can have a play together maybe see what we can do with that and oh no that's not quite it a couple of things just bought for myself i just thought what a funky strainer i think i've seen these on the cooking shows anyway it was it was cheap as and all look interesting in my um kitchen even if i don't know sort of how to use it properly <laughs> and i'm always breaking tongs so another pair for really cheap is always good i think that was it so Cheers and thanks. I look forward to my next shopping trip.